The time has come. Execute Order 66. She's horrible. I've made a ghastly, ghastly mistake. Pardon me. I have to go poke out my mind's eye. I love Disney's content. I grew up watching, you know, all of the classics. They have been a huge, like, informative part of my life. But at the same time, like... I worked at small studios most of my career, and I'd heard, you know, you hear whispers. Like, I'd, I'd heard things like, oh, you know, they won't let you show this at a Disney show. And I'm like, okay. So I was a little, like, sus when I started. And, but then my experience was bafflingly the opposite of what I had heard. On my little pocket of, like, you know, Proud Family, Disney TVA, um, the showrunners were super welcoming, Meredith Roberts, and, like, the, the our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda and so like i i feel like i felt like it was i mean like maybe it was that way in the past but i guess like something must have happened in the last like like they are turning it around they're going hard and then all that like momentum that i felt like that sense of i don't have to be afraid to like let's have these two characters kiss let's in the background this like i was just wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to, like, to, if you see anything queer in the show, I'm proud of But, like, I, I just was like, no one would stop me and no one was trying to stop me. Oh, LaToya Raveno, one of our favorite reimagined tomorrow bacterial infections at uh, Disney. Isn't she pleasant? Do you want your kids to hang out with her? What do you think they'd learn? Uh, this was... The video preceding this was taken from the Reimagine Tomorrow group of, of bullies that bullied Bob Chapek, the CEO then of Disney, to step back his uh, stance that they weren't going to challenge Florida's parental rights and education bill, which think creatures like this called the Don't Say Gay Bill. When people say words are meaningless, it's not, that's not true. Uh, Joseph Goebbels once said that the more you to tell a lie, the more people believe it's the truth. Now, I'm going to say this. The people that called it first the Don't Say Gay Bill knows that it's the Florida Parental Rights and Education Bill. They know what, it's, what it is. Okay, so in my opinion... Um, I have to say that uh, this was all designed, but as we predicted, the House of Cards of Reimagine Tomorrow is falling apart. Bob Chapek, uh, you know, the, 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 the word from the rags in Hollywood was saying, well, he was fired because of his uh, opposition to DEI. Well, Iger's getting rid of DEI, okay? Um, and what I'm about to tell you is proof of that on a level of holy shit I haven't seen in a while. Uh, th basically, Bob Chapek's plans are, are coming to fruition. This is like watching an indirect assault on ESG at, at uh, Disney from their former CEO. So here we go. Disney's chief diversity officer, LaTondra Newton, departs. Order 66 is in place. This is a BFD. Okay. Her office is right down the hallway from Bob Iger's. Okay. And I think and I believe strongly that Bob Iger uh, was not, never going to not fire her. Okay. She probably thought, oh, yes, he loves me. No, he doesn't love you, bitch. He don't love you at all. Okay. Um, you fucked up his legacy. 
And this is all, this isn't retribution. This is cleaning up a problem for Iger that Iger himself created by allowing this stuff to grow and fester like a fungus on, on, on Disney. And Disney's business is suffering because of it. Crowds at the parks are down. Streaming numbers are in the toilet. But let, let me add that streaming numbers across all platforms are down. Why? The lockdowns are no more. And, uh, you know, uh, streaming, I don't know if it's a good business model. Um, but here we have LaTondra Newton herself. Uh, she is a blatant racist BLM. She's an activist. Uh, she's the, 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 the pea-sized brain behind uh, Reimagine Tomorrow. And um, she's done. And, you know, they're saying she's leaving to go pursue other projects. And in my estimate, that says they told her to go. Okay. Now, I know she's got a jewelry line and she's got some other things on on the uh, table. And if you um, look at everything about uh, what's going on with her, it's apparent that she was given a choice and she took the severance package and, and, and left. She says she's, they say, giggle snort, she's there to help find her new replacement. But uh, according to Bluebird, Comron's other um, Disney insider, there isn't going to be another replacement. I think this ship has sailed there. And the reason why is because <clears throat> Disney can't afford DEI anymore. Again, their business is down. Why? Just watch the video. Should I add another one? Here's another one. I'm, I'm here as a mother of, of two queer children, actually. Um, uh, one transgender child um, um, and one pansexual child. Um, and, and also as a leader. Um, and that was the thing that really got me because I have heard so much from so many of my colleagues over the course of the last couple of weeks um, in open forums and through emails and phone conversations. And um, I feel a responsibility to speak, um, not just for myself, but for them, uh, to all of us. We, we, had a, we had an open forum last week at 20th where um, again, the home of, of really incredible groundbreaking LGBTQIA stories over the years where um, one of our execs stood up and said, you know, we only have a handful of queer leads in our content. And I went, what? I, that can't be true. And I, and I, and I realized, oh, it, it actually is true. We have many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories. And and, and yet we don't have enough leads um, and narratives in which gay characters just, just get to be characters um, mm -hmm. and, and not have to be about gay stories. And so um, that's been very eye-opening for me. Um, and and I, I can tell you um, it's something that I feel perhaps had this moment not happened, um, I as a leader and me as my colleagues would not have focused on and and going forward, um, I, I certainly will be more so. I know that we will be and um, and I hope this is a moment where shoot um, the fifty percent of the tears <laughs> sorry <laughs> are coming. Um, uh, we don't we just don't allow each other to go backwards. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love that Frasier bit right there because every time I see the videos from Reimagine Tomorrow, it makes me want to vomit. Um, the fact that these people uh, felt the need to humiliate their boss and bully him says just what kind of people they are, says what kind of people Latondra Newton is. And she's leaving under, I'd say, a cloud but DEI across the board uh, at several companies are over. And look, we were told 
by Black Pill Blobs and others that Disney would never abandon uh, DEI and look who's leaving. Black Rock had control. Look who's leaving. This is one of their people, okay? Um, it, and if I was Iger, look at, look at what uh, she did to Bob Chapek. Would you trust this bitch? No, you wouldn't. This is actually, in my opinion, uh, as big or bigger than Latondra Newton or than uh, um, Victoria Alonso. I think if and when Kennedy steps down, should they sell Lucasfilm? And, and let's be honest, the, a sale may not go through. We don't know. But if she doesn't step down and gets fired, that would be bigger only because of who it is. But this is bigger than Victoria Alonso because this woman literally had the ear of the C-suite. She could walk in any of their offices. And now they said, bye-bye. Off you go. What this woman did was try to hijack the message of uh, Disney and Bob Iger here with Harrison Ford and Alan Bergman um, knows that. He's not woke. Uh, I challenge anybody to uh, a debate on that. Bob Iger's a politician. He's a, uh, a deal maker. He's corporate. Corporate is almost not even human. Okay. <laughs> this guy has one thing on his mind, and that's power and money. Okay. He's greedy. He's ambitious. He thought supporting DEI at the time would uh, help him in his quest to be president. It did not. Now Disney's bleeding money. They're in a bad spot. So what happens is the people that caused it, reimagine tomorrow mostly, is getting canned. And the first one to go is Ton Newton. So expect more from Disney proper. But like I said, Ton Newton is bigger than Victoria Alonso. But when Kennedy goes, and she is, I'm almost positive now that uh, that will be bigger because of who she is. This is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy.